talking about Fragino? <gasps> Did someone say Bear Fragino? I think he said Bear Fragino. thing ever. We're going to drink mead. A great drink for every Viking or Viking. An alcoholic beverage created by fermenting honey. I honestly would drink honey by the gallon. Just I love another it. thing that the bees have given us. We love mead the bees. As well. Yeah, when I think of mead, I think of like Thor, where he's like, I love it, another. And he's just absolutely wrecking everything. So who knows? Maybe we're going to go crazy today and just start wrecking the studio and everything. I'm ready to like punch a hole in the light. Yeah. I would like mine served in whatever the traditional mead uh, cup is, please, Colin. Mm-hmm. Sure. Huh. Fantastic. Oh. We got Kinsale Mead Company, Atlantic Dry Mead. Light and refreshing, citrus with a soft honey finish. 12%! Jeez. This is not at all what I thought it was going to be. It smells like wine. Now, wine is my least favorite alcohol. All alcohol. White wine makes me do very bad, bad things when I'm locked. Like I'll call people I shouldn't, I'll say things I shouldn't, so I'm terrified. Well, it's gonna be a lot of editing in this one to give her all the <laughs> things she's gonna say. Cheers to that. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, that is so not what I was expecting. <gasps> I love it. I oh sw- shit, are you okay? Are you okay? I swallowed it the wrong way. Um, it's like wine. I imagine it's one that gets you real drunk. Oh yeah. I imagine you just drink it real easy and then it all hits you mm. and suddenly you're invading another country. I'm really trying to like this, oh, but it's God. very whiny. Like me. <laughs> oh, God. You had a bottle of this now, you know about it. Oh, you would. You know? Imagine what's Kira been up to. Well, she's been drunk on meat. <laughs> like what a serve. This is like the oldest drink, kind of ancient alcohol. Mm. Yeah. So what Dermot would drink when he was a boy? I feel like I need to text my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Let's call him right now. Here we have Kevin on the line. And... I give things a way too high rating. I'm going to go in with a 10. I just do a Martin and be like, it's, I've had a fabulous experience. I thought me yeah, was no, going to be totally great. different. I'm having a great time. It tastes great. <laughs> it's Irish. It has a really interesting history. What's not to love? I really like it. I'm I'm a white wine drinker though. So like I might become like uber hipster and be mm. like, actually I, I drink mead now. Yeah. I drink mead. You might know it from 9000 BC. What do the people say back then? Here's to our health and our children. <laughs> May our legacy live on forever. <laughs> Dead two years later. Because of this. <laughs> Summer Easy mead. Summer mead. They just oh, look at know the how to tell a story. We have six berry celebration with refreshing strawberry and raspberry notes. Ooh, ah. When you said we were drinking mead, I wanted to feel like Thor. We're now here feeling like Darcy out with the girls, having a few drinks. You know, what? That's nothing what? wrong with that. No. But I just thought I was <laughs> holding. I thought I was holding me all near, and instead I'm just. Having Prosecco, you know? That's, that's that's what I'm thinking. Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna transport you to a girl's night, okay? I'll hold you last like this. Okay, like this? So like, just kind of hold it like you you don't even care. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, did you hear? What? Mary's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Oh! It's absolutely fab. Wow. It's so nice. That is like a red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Mm. Honey and berries. It's beautiful. Bees! It's so fresh. Fucking bees! I could see myself drinking a lot of this if I was in the mood. Mm. I want to um, be argumentative with someone online. I love how much you enjoyed that though. The uh, vibes you're giving me, yeah. the, the, the fantasy of it all, I really enjoyed that. I just wish that the, this drink was able to deliver on the experience. It's literally like running through a meadow with your tongue out. Oh, stop. That's what it's like. I'm like, ah! Put me in a flower crown. It's a giddy drink. It's a giddy drink. <laughs> I want to get the cards out. Play Uno. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go crazy. Let's go nuts. One of the most eye-opening try shoots I've done. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about this channel and being on it is I'm like, what are we doing today? Well, you're going to try something you've never tried before in an area that you're pretty interested in that's also Irish and is also delicious. It's great. Let's launch it to that. 
one ratty mead, the drink of the High Kings of Ireland. Oh, yes. Now this, this is what you expect. This is a step up. Discovered by Irish monks in the Middle Ages, mead soon made its, made its way into the courts of the Four Kings of Ireland and no banquet was complete without it. This honey-based drink is believed to have powers of virility and fertility and it became custom for the bride and groom to drink mead for one full moon of their wedding, hence the word honeymoon in Ireland today. I love etymology. It is still a tradition to toast the bride and groom with a glass of mead when they depart on their honeymoon from the wedding. I can't cope. Hey, you're gonna have sex. Uh. <laughs> it was the Viagra of the Middle Ages. I mean, we now take little blue pills when you could have been drinking fermented honey. I don't know if that's a step up. Are we gonna get pregnant? I fucking hope not. What the fuck did I just put in my mouth? It's absolutely gorgeous. No, I can't cope. I actually can't deal. Sharper. Yeah. Sharper than the other ones. I think if I drink enough of this, I'll, I won't be able to have kids. <laughs> Make it, you horny. It tastes like honey. <laughs> it really. That's what it honestly, is. It's honestly, aphrodisiac. I'm flushed. I'm horny for the history. Yes. It's so interesting. Yes, I'm horny for the history. It's, do you feel more fertile? I would be making babies off this. Yeah. Is there more of a honey hit off this? Oh yeah. It's like liquid honey, but with stabs of fertility. <laughs> stabs of fertility. Sensual novel. Uh, your way soon. God. Genuinely. See us back in nine months for me and Kira with our two try babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the table like, damn you, mead. A deceptive Ooh. drink, I feel. Yes, it, it kind of creeps up on you. Overall, this is high king shit right here. Uh, it actually genuinely is delicious. It has much more of a like, of a, of a honey taste straight off the bat, but it's beautiful, it's floral. And I actually don't usually like sweet floral mm. liquors. But this is like, dancing on my tongue. It's my favorite. I think it's my favorite as well. Bringing it home to Kinsale. Thanks Kinsale. This is wild red meat. Wild red meat. It has meat. black currants and cherries. I just love how romantic alcohol is. I also love how romantic alcohol is. I just think alcohol can completely change a setting of like a meal or a meetup Absolutely. or anything. Like It's I not just... the spirit, it's the custom. It's like the act of drinking. It's something that we've been doing since <laughs> the dawn of time. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Whew. Tart. <laughs> oh. I just want to drink like a Viking. And I have found that all they drink is just wine. I honestly will be buying a bottle of mead after this. Absolutely. I will. I mean, of the four, it is, the, yeah. it's intense. It's, it's less fun. I'm playing chess while drinking this. Do you know? Wait a second, Come Colin. On. Take a small bit of it, leave it in your mouth for a second and then swallow. Trust okay. me on this one. It tastes a small bit better. Does taste a small bit better. Yeah. You wouldn't really want to have a bottle of this because you would feel it. The monk drink. We were cheering, two people Woo! were getting married, divorced, whatever, babies were happening somehow in the whole thing. This thing here, we're like, okay. Okay. Okay, we gotta go to work in the morning. It's not gonna be fun. Maybe this will knock me out. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Before they had over-the-counter medication, they had mead for making babies mm -hmm. and mead for falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I think I prefer this to wine. <laughs> no one likes wine at the start. You just keep drinking it. I'd say that's the same thing with this. Mm. But it's so whiny. Like Colin. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of a witchy vibe off me, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You drink this on Halloween now. Oh, absolutely. Kind of blood-like. It is. Isn't it? It is. Well, it does look like goth blood. So, it does. I mean, the other ones were very pleasant to look at. This looks like Dracula's top shelf where he's like, oh, mm. this is a nice vintage. She barely screamed. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. Could have been wilder though. If you drink the rest of that in one gulp, I'd say it will be wild enough for you. Don't actually, oh no. Oh. Oh, holding it. Drink it. That was a fucking <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, so wild. Oh my God, I think I killed him. I think, right, bold statement coming up, so brace yourselves. 
I think this has been my favourite try shoot. I mean, look, you're trying something as an Irish person who you would imagine that we know all of the crevices of Irish culture, but we actually don't. And then you put something in front of it that you're like, this is a huge part of Irish history that you as a young Irish person, young Irish person, hasn't seen before. You get to experience along with people from around the world that are watching it. You know what? It's not for me. But the first two were lovely. Great. First if you're with some, lovely. if you're with your friends, bring out either either of them. A berry time, a nice white wine one. Any of them, you're gonna have a nice time. Mm -hmm. Getting crazy, bring out the monk drink, and then when you want them to go home, bring out that fourth one and say, guys. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And we love mead at the end. We do love mead. Day mead. Get it? Like day made. Day, day mead. mead, that was great. Thanks.